Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. Welcome to my sales video tips. They're no longer than two minutes long. I hope you enjoy them. Bye. Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. That's paularcher.com. For those of you who know me, know that each year I like to go down to Glastonbury. And the last time I went, oh my God, I can't get tickets anymore. The last time I went, I remember watching two bands on the other stage. And it got me thinking about presentation skills. And see, there's two rules about Glastonbury. If you're a band and you're playing at Glastonbury, there's two rules that you've got to do. Number one is you've got to involve the audience in a simple way. And then number two, you've got to get us singing along to the choruses. It's that simple, really. If you want to be successful, those are the two things you've got to do. And it's that concept I want to share with you in a second about presentation skills. Now, the two bands we saw, one of them was uh, singer Katie Tunstall, I think, brilliant singer, but she failed on both accounts, because number one, get us involved in some way in a simple way. She got us involved, but it was a very complex manoeuvre, some sort of dance move or something, and I'm not all into that anyway, but this dance move, it all went completely wrong, and most of us just gave up in the 60,000 audience. And then she got us singing along to choruses, which kind of worked. But she kind of failed, really, in that respect. Now, the next band were different altogether. A great band, the Hoosiers. I like them as well. And they were singing a song called Cops and Robbers. You may know the track. Good band, Hoosiers. And they got it perfectly right. Because the first rule, remember, involved the audience in a simple way. They got us to do, uh, we had to say cops when he said cops and robbers or something. You know, uh, if you were on a criminal, we all shouted cops, he then sang robbers. It was very simple, <laughs> you know, we, we went with that and it was a lot of fun. And then of course we got to sing the chorus, <laughs> which is not a difficult thing to do if you know the track. That band really had it sorted, they knew how to involve the Glastonbury audience. And of course there were 60 plus thousand people in, in, in that audience. Now when you're doing presentations for audiences, business, large or small presentations, you've got to involve the audience somehow. You've got to involve them, and involve them in a simple way. Don't make it complicated, because people just give up and don't want to play, do they? Now if you want some ideas about how to involve the audience, I've got a, a podcast actually I recorded last year, uh, loads and loads of methods, it's about an hour podcast actually, on how to involve a corporate audience or any audience that you're presenting to. There's about 20, 25 ideas. So email me or go onto LinkedIn if you can. Find me on LinkedIn. You can get me on the website and uh, hook up with me on LinkedIn. Love to, to get to know you. And uh, I can email you the article that accompanies the podcast as well for free. So why not enjoy that? Hey, hope you found that useful. Speak to you soon. Bye.